and highly poisonous and spreading in a new direction across Australia. Cane toads are now heading for the centre of the continent, being carried down by flood-swollen outback rivers. It's an incredible example of a tough survivor. Uh, it's a fantastic invasion machine. Cane toads have now been swept south from Longreach in central Queensland to Noonbar Station, nearing the Cooper Creek, which runs to Lake Eyre. The invasion of Noonbar Station was captured in these shots taken by Angus Emmett. How far down the system they all go, we don't know yet, but it, it's fairly scary stuff. OK, well, these, these glands here on the shoulder contain most of the poison. Cane toad expert Professor Rick Shine is very worried about the impact that toxic pests will have on the fragile desert environment. Even a large goanna, for example, can be dead within two or three minutes after seizing an adult cane toads. Cane toads originate in Brazil. They were brought to North Queensland 75 years ago to control a sugarcane beetle, but have since spread wide already advancing most of the way across the tropical north. It's the biggest test for the cane toad yet. The question is how well will it survive when the rivers stop flowing and the arid climate begins to reassert itself. And perhaps in the occasional place they'll hang on long enough until the next flood comes and gives them a chance to spread further. Scientists marvel at the ability of the cane toad to adapt to the Australian environment and there's nothing they've yet found that offers real hope of eliminating the pest. Paul Lockyer, ABC News, Central Australia.